Yo, hello everyone! Are you looking to create a secure login page for restricted access to your Google Sites website? In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a login page in Google Sites. You will learn how to design a login form, set up user authentication, and manage access permissions to protect sensitive content. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, guys, once you have opened site.google.com, I will need you guys to first of all go ahead and start the new site. So here guys as you can see there is multiple kind of sites and different templates that they will offer you for you. As an example you have here a blank page which is simply as you can see if you clicked on it a blank page. <laughs> so you have nothing in here you can here, uh, add stuff and edit them later on but yeah, it is a blank page, so it is only for people who are kind of experts or for people who have time to design everything from zero. So this is for the blank page. Second thing, which is family updates. This family update, as it seems, it will give you a template with a menu that has been already integrated and some pictures about family and of course sections that you can edit and everything here also is editable so don't worry about it this template is fully editable here you can change it from family update to for example a restaurant uh, template here you have portfolio events help center projects and if i want like that you will find even much more you will have uh, categories as you can see here from personal to work to small businesses to here education so you have to pick first of all a template to start with and what to go for so decide what are you going to aim for are you going to create a site for a personal needs work or small business or you want it to search for a school education or something like that so just like that once you have chosen the site or the template that you are going for or even you can choose like the blank one let's get started so now guys to be fair google sites after you choose the correct template for you etc and you get to the settings itself so let's click for example on this template and let's click on the settings from here you will not really have like a shortcut for login page so you click here drag this and voila you will have like a login page ready for you to use well no this is not how it goes you really have to do everything from scratch so that's what we are going to do today so an example as an example as i said uh first for login you will need to enter username a password and have a database to save these in here, you can't really have these things unless you could insert some kind of logic between Google Sheets, Google Forms, and the button. And for now, this is a really, really hard task to do. So what are we going to do instead? Is simply ask the most smart person that I know, which is not a person, ChatGPT. ChatGPT is actually going to give us an embed code. This embed code will save much time as possible for us so we can drag a login page or login section in our page. So let's try again and go to ChatGPT. So here as this page pop ups for you, click here and let's ask it for uh, give me a secured um, login page, uh, login section that links and saves the user and password to excel like google sheets so here we go to create a secure login section that links and saves user section a credential to a google sheet you need from a setup html and back and setup uh, so you will need all of these things in here so in that case this is not possible for us why because as you can see there is two different codes that we have to implement and add but if we try to do so for example here um, i'm going to click here on embed code and i'm going to do this and then space copy this and paste it next 
it will be something like that. Uh, this is not what you are looking for. Since this is not actually going to help you a lot, what you can do is simply have only the first code, which is literally bad for us since it will not really save everything for us. So let's have it for now like that. Here we go. I'm going to click here, uh, embed code, embed code, click next, insert. Now I'm going to ask it to uh, give me a better uh, looking version of the first code. So here they will give us like a better looking version of it that looks pretty much better, uh, not something like that uh, because we are in 2023. Uh, this is not a login page for us. Uh, we need something to look brilliant, smart and kind of like modern. So here we go, we have this code, I'm going to copy it, um, let's click here to copy this, and then I'm going to edit the code and paste it once more. So this is an example on how the login page is going to look like. So let's make it big as possible, drag it in the middle, and this is the login page that we had. So let's click on publish and see how it works. So I'm going to type here random names, publish, and let's see if it's going to work for us. So let's view the page. Here we go. Let's go all the way down. And this is the login page. So let's try to give it, for example, a password, log in, and it's not going to function yet. Why? Because you need a back-end system that will help it, where they are going to save these affirmations, what, are the what is the page that it's going to take it to. So there is multiple f like things that has to be linked to that. But overall, if you'd like to really have everything in details, make sure to learn about HTML and CSS. And I'd rather, for me myself, if I was good at CSS and HTML, I would not bother myself creating a website using site Google. I would probably just write it like a text notepad and start coding in it. And that would be a hundred times better than Google Sites, since it's really limiting your capabilities. It doesn't allow you to publish any videos. It doesn't allow you to do a lot of things. So as long as you have the possibility to actually have uh, the knowledge about PHP, CSS, HTML, Java, just create your own website from scratch and that will be much better for you instead of having Google Sites. And there is so many hostings that are for free that can actually hold your files and publish your sites online without any problems. So in case that was the problem for you, there is so many hostings guys, you just have to look up for it. And in case you were looking to create a login page using site.google.com, Eventually, you really can't. Even if you search here, so let's search, for example, login page in Google Sites. So how to add login page here? Can I add create, can I create a login page? So you can create sign in to a classic Google site using your administrator account. There is nothing. So how do I create user a uh, user in Google site? Open a site in classical site at the top right corner, click share and then invite people. So this is only to invite people to your website and to give them the permission to actually here we go. So share with others. So this is only to actually give permission to others to actually start editing on the website and looking at it but in general as given the actual user like users uh, facebook like a facebook account like you have users etc you really can do that so this is it for today's video guys if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will make sure to answer all of your questions one by one and thank you guys a lot for watching see you guys in the next tutorial